piano suite in E flat major is, of course, another masterpiece. And it starts with these epic, rather monumental arpeggios, which first of all reach up these huge leaps. The first one's actually a full two octaves, and then crash down, rather like waves tumbling down. again find this parallel with water that of course is similar to the metaphor that's often given for the very first suite in G major of a stream or a river a more gentle kind of melodic play but still this idea of water Looking at this harmonic analysis, we see that there's this pedal E flat that runs all the way from the first bar through the ninth bar. And that also helps to create this sense of anchoring, of grounding, perhaps like the bottom of the ocean. And it's only in bar 10 that we move away from that E flat. We can also see that we stay in our home key of E flat major all the way into bar 12 where we modulate to our dominant key of B flat major. Also noteworthy is the fact that we have this very slow rate of harmonic change. So we only have a chord change every two bars for the first eight bars before one chord change per bar. This very slow rate of harmonic change again adds to this sense of epic proportions and grandeur. Everything has its own natural unfolding and there's no rush. So starting with two bars of our tonic, E flat major. Note also this lovely alternation between primarily root position chords and seventh chords, which really help to propel the music forward. So even though we have this very slow rate of harmonic change and epic proportions going on, we also have this feeling of forward momentum created again through those seventh chords. So we start with our one, and then the seventh chord here really wants to pull us forward to this four, six, four, this seventh chord really wants to go here to our one. Another seventh chord, drag down with that seventh in the bass, resolve into a minor, new realms. Another seventh chord, now going into B flat major. Stay with our seventh idea, but now five, six, five in B flat major, resolve into root position, five, seven, and finally to a tonic. And then in this final slide, you can see this lovely underpinning of a linear scalar descent from one, simply going down to five, one, seven, six, five. We do have that raised scale degree four with the A natural in bar 13, but that's in parentheses because we come back to five 
in bar 15. And so we can analyze that raised four as a lower neighbor tone to the B flat. So here are those gorgeous opening measures one more time. And I invite you to listen to that linear descent as we get there. Obviously the one lasts a long time because we have this prolonged E flat pedal, but really try to hold on to that one. And then as we go down, hear the descent. So here it is. <laughs> 